Hey guys, today is going to be somewhat of an exciting video, at least for me it is. I am finally going to be changing my background to my normal filming station. So I know on this channel you probably don't see this background very often and that's because I normally sit here and use my mega table that's in the study where I do filming for my unboxing videos and that is because the table is big enough for me to have space to have not only my camera on the table, but also be able to display the products on the table after I've shown them come out of the box. I like doing my filmings that way. It's just a little bit different. I like for everyone to be able to continue to see the products after I've pulled them out of the box because sometimes we see so many unboxings that you almost instantly forget what's in there as soon as it's been pulled out and moved on to the next item. So I like having them displayed. However, I have had this as my background for the past two years while building that channel. And I'm just now getting to do this. I wanted to do this a year ago, never had the time, never had the money. And I really can't do a full study renovation. I will be doing a video for that, but that one will probably take place over the course of weeks in order to complete it. Today though, I am hoping to have this moved I will be taking it down and it's gonna be moved somewhere else in the study. And all of my pictures are gonna be taken down and what I'm hoping to do is change the paint color. This is the paint color that came with the house when we bought it seven years ago and we just have never changed it. I don't like the way it looks on camera. It's too beigey for me. I did pick out a light colored gray that I want to redo for the walls back here and then I wanna put shelves behind me so I can change up the decor depending on the video that I do. And if I do a video over here where I need to be sitting down talking, I will have a nice decorated wall behind me. And I think it really will help improve my videos, but also the overall look of the study. I don't know how the whole study is gonna get designed. I will share that in a future video. I guess the first thing I gotta do is take down the map. I don't know if you can tell from this scale, but it is a huge map. I mean, I'm five foot nine and when I stand, it's like, it's massive. It's huge. And we obviously could not afford like a proper frame when I hung it up. So what we did was we had gone to Home Depot and got these crown molding, painted it so that it'd be a nice frame. Unfortunately, whenever we put this up, we just nailed it. We have these little nails that just go into the crown molding. And what I'm gonna have to do is basically take a back end of a hammer, I think, and just like pop this off. I don't even know if we'll be able to save it. It might actually come apart whenever we're undoing it. So when I hang it back up, I'm probably gonna have to buy new crown molding, paint it again, and start that process over. But for today, I just wanna make sure that the map itself gets taken down intact. I've had this since, I don't even know, 2009, I think is when my husband bought it for me for a birthday. It definitely has seen its fair share of rips between having toddlers and babies around it and kids. But for the most part, I think it's still in good condition. So I'm gonna roll it back up, get it out of the way. And then we're also gonna be taking down all of my <laughs> picture decor. We actually have quite a bit of work to do for today. We also still have to go to Home Depot and buy paints. We need to get started. So you don't want the map anymore? No, I do want it. I just don't want it right there. Oh my gosh, this map has definitely seen better days. Yeah. I think we both forgot how completely dirty it is. Dirty? <laughs> well, I mean, just beat up. It's got uh, some cuts in it. Yeah. It's got some food in it. There's extra holes in it. Yeah. Definitely be needing a new one. That's definitely, uh, definitely experienced life. Oh my gosh, this map is heavy. Okay, now it can be safe. Just 
now leaving Home Depot and I gotta say, I am shocked by how much all that cost, although I shouldn't be. It's like I should have known. But it was $311 to get three gallons of paint, some polyurethane, some wood shelves, eight wood brackets, and a couple of other little things. It's like that is what I make in a week, substitute teaching. And I just spend it all for this project. So I really hope it turns out great because otherwise I'm gonna be really sad. <laughs> We got everything painted all the way around the room. I'm so excited about it. It's so much lighter, so much brighter. And now we are gonna get the process of putting the shelves up. We just got regular wood from Home Depot. I don't even know what kind of wood. We're not gonna sand it. We just put a couple of coats of polyurethane on top of it. Got that idea from a friend of mine. Thank you, Sarah. And we're just going to use the natural colored wood with these grates that I got. No, not grates. Shelf holders. Let me show them to you. These are the little shelf brackets that I got. I loved the little design that was on them and they're metal, so I'm hoping that they'll be sturdier. I do believe that they'll end up going like this. I had to get eight of these and they were $10 a piece. So surprised at how much these shelf brackets could actually cost. Like, so surprised. But now we're just gonna put everything together, put the final touches on, getting the shelves up, and then we'll get to be able to decorate the space for the very first time. So stoked. Trying to get the shelf placement correctly so that it'll be within view of when I do my unboxings or any other video that I'm gonna film in this space with this background. That line will be good for the top. It's actually a little high. Okay. It won't even be in view. Like the wood would be, but nothing above it would be in view. So, ooh, that's the only thing is I don't think we ever had a shadow before with the brown colored walls and now We've got shadows from the light, so I may have to do something different with the lighting to get that fixed. First layer of shelf has to be right here. And then right here. So here and here. Did you find the stud? Yeah. So the only thing I'm concerned about now is we didn't get five brackets and it's really long. Like we we're trying to make do it for. So now we're going to have an empty space because we can't space them out appropriately. I don't know. You put one here and you okay. leave one at the end. You can't leave that just shelf with oh, no bracket. Okay. You're going to have to leave the middle with no bracket. Gotcha. So I'm just going to have to have light stuff in the middle, which works because my body is in the middle anyways. Mm -hmm. So yes, about right here. But we're even right here. But I want this to line up. Right. Like it needs to be screwed over. Is that even? Wow, that was like a really long project. It took us two days, but we didn't start until yesterday afternoon. So really it could have been done in a day if we had started in the morning and then worked all the way till the evening, but we had to break it up. Anyways, the shelves are officially on. I can't believe it. They turned out really, really good. 
I do like the natural wood element and I can always paint them white later if I wanted to. I just wanted something light back here. I did not want a dark stain. And since we already went with the darker brackets, Kind of by default, but also they're really cute. All I have left now to do is style them. Before I can style these, one, I need to let the paint dry because we just did touch-ups where we were patching in the nail holes. We were trying to find the studs. Wow, that was such an activity, trying to find those studs. I wanted the brackets to go in the studs. I did not want to deal with using, I know there's replacements if you're not in a stud, but they don't always work right. We've had some fall down on us before. So I just like things going in the studs. And luckily, it's spaced out pretty nicely. We are missing a bracket here and here because we originally thought four would be okay, but I think I am gonna have to get another one for the middle here and here. That way it has that full support in the middle. Until then, I'm not gonna put anything heavy in the center part. I don't know that I'm really gonna put anything heavy on there at all, but what I like about the shelves is the possibility of different ways to design with the different videos that I'm gonna be doing. So that is really exciting for me. I'm gonna go clean up this mess and I'll be back later to try and style these shelves for the first time. Okay, so this uh, one day project of redoing my filming studio area has turned into three days. But I mean, I guess that's to be expected with five kids and other responsibilities, so just can't do one thing all day. Before I actually get started filming for my unboxing channel, I need to decorate these shelves. Today I'm gonna to be doing a book box, a Scotland box, and then a couple of Christmas type videos. So I'm gonna have it decorated three different ways. I'm gonna start off, which I may just combine the book stuff with the lifestyle version for now. I may just do two different versions. I don't know how I'm gonna arrange it yet, but I did find these bookends that I'm gonna use. There's a decorative teapot, which came. My little Jamie from, oh my gosh, what is that show called? Outlander. He's gonna be up there during one of them. He's not gonna be up there the whole time. And then my Outlander music box. I'm just gonna have it lay like this. And other decor type items. I've got this lantern that I'm gonna set up there. After I dust it off, I've got another lantern that's gold, which I think will also go good with the Christmas themed shelves that I do. And then these little glass jars with a wooden top that I think I'm gonna use because they came out of book boxes but also I think they'll just be fun to style up there. So I've got a couple of different things I'm gonna do as well as a little bit of Christmas decor later. I'm probably gonna move that painting. I just had it sitting there for temporarily. All right, let's see what I can come up with. All right, this is the first look I'm gonna go with. I, uh, I do have some symmetry going on. Obviously, I have a lot to learn about decorating shelves, but I think it looks pretty good, at least to start off with. It's got bookish type items on there. Like we have Harry Potter light box. We have these candles that came out of book boxes. I've got my books that I got from my grandpa. And then these bookends, I turned them out because you can't even see the design if you have them face the other way. So I turned them out so that you can see them. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I did. 
Same thing for up here with the Deathly Hollows bookends. And then I've got these glass jars that come in book boxes. That lantern actually came in a book box, but the other gold one did not. I ended up leaving the painting there because it didn't have anything to fill in the middle. I need to get some greenery because I know people put greenery in shelves. Um, and then watch obviously a bunch of decor videos and inspiration on Pinterest so that I can get better at it. But honestly, at least it's something different and I'm excited to get started. Now I have to go film the Alcrate video and then I'm gonna change up the background slightly so that it'll be different for the Scottish unboxing and then I have to change it again to be more Christmas themed. So I actually have a full day ahead of me and I need to get started. 